welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another review roundup video, but this one is on concealers and foundations I've been trying out recently. I got a lot of positive feedback from my last review roundup, which was eyeshadow palettes. If you haven't seen it, I will go ahead and throw it up in the cards for you guys to check out. But today we got a lot of foundations and not a whole lot of time. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. So the first foundation I want to talk to you guys about is this one. I picked this up when I was at Walmart. This is the Physicians Formula, the healthy foundation with SPF 20, brightening, complex, and for all skin types. This is one fluid ounce and I picked this up because I did see a lot of people saying a lot of good things about this and I picked up the shade DW2. It actually does work with my skin tone. The one thing I cannot stand about this foundation is the smell of it. Oh my gosh, it's like a lingering smell. Ugh, it smells like paint, but I actually like the smell of paint. It's just like a sickly smell that like lingers and I wanted to return this so bad, but I actually took off the barcode that came with it. So it's a sealed package and so I couldn't return it, but I would caution you guys if you are sensitive to smell, I wouldn't recommend it. It's also not very long wearing, which is manageable for me. I, I don't need it to be super long wearing, but yeah, I didn't love the smell, I like the doe foot. I think that's nice. I don't really have a lot of foundations that have doe foots like this, but woof, you guys, the stench, the stench. So because of that, it's a for me. Another foundation, I was kind of like back and forth on this one. This is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. Everyone was so excited when Hourglass announced this. I don't know if they jumped the gun with this release, but I feel like the formula is very odd. It kind of is full coverage sometimes, but I kind of felt like it was patchy. Some days I could make this work for me and some days I couldn't. So it was just very all over the place. It's also a pricier foundation. I think it's like 50 something dollars. And because of that, I would not recommend this to you guys. I just feel like it's very all over the place. And I was so excited for Hourglass to come out with something and have a wide range of shades because they do have other foundations in their lineup, but they don't have a lot of shades. The Vanish Stick Foundation I have and I like. I wear the shade Amber in that one, and that works pretty well for me, but yeah, this is this was a bummer, and I did pick up the shade Beige, which does work, but like I said, it's a very inconsistent formula. This is made in the United States. I feel like I'm gonna hold on to this and try it out in the summertime. I feel like because it's a matte formula, it might work better in the summertime. Another foundation I did try from the drugstore is this guy. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Up to 24 Hour Wear Foundation, and this is also a fluid ounce. You can pick this up in the drugstore, and I picked it up in the shade Honey Bisque. I actually bought this online through Ulta, and I don't love this foundation. It's okay. I just don't feel like it's like 24 hour wear. I didn't feel like it was very long wearing at all. Um, I do like that it is a pump foundation, and I've seen a lot of people say a lot of really good things about it, but I personally didn't see the hype, so I would not recommend this to you guys. And then to go along with that, I did pick up the concealer. This is the Full Wear Infallible More Than Concealer Concealer, and it has a really cute packaging, and I bought this in the shade Caramel Fonts toffee 405 <laughs> and honestly the shade is a little bit too light for me this doe foot is literally the size of the physicians formula foundation doe foot so it's a giant doe foot and I just don't love it I just I feel like it's okay I'm very picky about foundations I want them to look flawless on me and honestly we've been having like one of the worst winters here in Fargo so a lot of foundations don't sit on my skin very well I have to really hydrate my face these days because otherwise I noticed that the foundation just does not go on well and yeah I didn't really like this so you know whatever so the next few foundations and concealers I'm going to talk about. I actually really liked all of these ones. The one I want to talk about next is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Liquid Makeup Nude Skin Feel All Day Wear Broad, S Broad Spectrum SPF 18 Sunscreen in the shade Sable, which is D1. This is also one fluid ounce. This is another drugstore foundation. I put off buying this, put off buying this, and then I finally picked it up because it was on sale at Ulta. 
And I definitely agree, this is a very luminous foundation. The only thing is the shade is a little bit orange for me. I think this will work really well for me going into the summertime-ish, but I also have a little bit of a tan, so I'm excited to try this out some more and I will keep you guys posted on this. The next foundation I really enjoyed and I wasn't expecting is this under $5 one from Wet n Wild. This is their photo stick foundation in the shade Sand Beige. A lot of you guys commented on the makeup look I had on in a few of my videos that went live a couple of days, weeks ago. It was the mustard velvet shirt and this is the foundation I'm actually wearing in that video. I really enjoyed the coverage of this after I filmed the video and I did wear it a few more times to work. I felt like I got really good bank for my buck with this particular foundation so if you are on a budget and you want to try a stick foundation I would recommend the Wet n Wild foundation. The next foundation I love and I actually want to do a video with this is the Sephora Matte Perfection Foundation. I picked up the shade Bronze 35 and this is a full coverage long lasting foundation. This is 1.01 fluid ounces. This reminded me so much of my full coverage like foundation. There's this Estee Lauder foundation I love. I recently had to throw it out because it's old and it's like their the Estee Lauder double wear. It's like the in intense double wear. It comes in a blue tube and this reminds me so much of that. It goes on like perfection. You can just use a beauty blender and just pounce it on and it's like full coverage. I feel like I'm wearing a mask with this and I love that you guys. I know some people don't love full coverage like that but I think for 20 bucks you're really getting bang for your buck with this so I would totally recommend this type of foundation if you guys are looking for a full coverage matte foundation this is your guide it also reminds me of the Kat Von D locket foundation and if you guys are on like a no buy of Kat Von D you might want to check this out next is a tried and true this is the Milani perfect two-in-one foundation and concealer. This they came out with quite some time ago and I've tried this before, but I rebought it because they looks like they've added to the shade range. I bought Warm Sand, which is 08A and 09A, which is natural tan. I feel like 09A is a better match for me, so I'm thinking I might return this or I might keep them and just mix them, but I love this foundation. Again, it reminds me of the Estee Lauder Double Wear because I love a good full coverage foundation, and if you are on a budget, I would totally recommend picking this up because it does work well and it's full coverage and it does last through a whole work day, so I really, really like this foundation. It's one of my favorites from the drugstore and has been for a long time. And last but certainly not least, my go-to combo for this winter has been these two products. I'm actually wearing both of these on my face today. And oh my gosh, I love this foundation so much. I picked this up when I was in Vegas. And this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation in the shade Sunset, which is 4N1. And this is 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. And I love this. It's so luminizing but not like it doesn't look sticky it doesn't look it hasn't dried down so I don't feel like it transfers so there's no like moving around and stuff like that and I just love this foundation so so much you guys it's like my new holy grail found foundation for the longest time like I told you guys in many videos I felt like I was in a foundation rut and I finally feel like I found a foundation that made, makes me feel the way the NARS Radiant um, foundation made me feel and also double wear. But after a while, I've just kind of gotten like sick of them. And so it's nice to find a luminizing foundation that is, you know, buildable. So I can definitely build it up more. But when I put it on and just do one layer, I still feel incredibly flawless with this. So if you have dry skin or you live somewhere cold like I do, this is amazing. And I'm so glad I tried this out. And then I've also been loving the Fenty Beauty Concealer. This is the Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 330. And I just love this. I feel like it's so flawless under my eyes and it sets, it doesn't budge. It's just a really, really good concealer. And it's definitely like my new favorite concealer of all time. And yeah, I just love this so much. And I also love that NARS one, the one that comes in a pot. Um, so both of those would be like my number one concealers if you guys ask me right now what I would recommend. But I love this, she did a great job. I think it's full coverage, it's not drying, it doesn't set too fast, so I still have time to like 
work it and spread it out with a beauty blender. So gorgeous concealer, love that from Fenty. Okay guys, that is everything for this foundation review roundup. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one. Bye!